that's quite stable data. But um, if you talk about countries, the number of inhabitants of a certain country, it changes every year. We get new data every year. So you have to go to the English Wikipedia, the German Wikipedia, the French Wikipedia. Yeah. We have over 290 languages, and you have to change that all the time. So that's what we do now with Wikidata. But the image, Wikimedia Commons. I checked it. Tuesday, 75 million media files at the moment. <laughs> yes. Images, sounds, videos, diagrams, animations, um, m moving pictures, and now the new thing is 3D models. And they're all under a free license. So with free license, we mean um, GFDL, uh, Creative Commons, um, but also the public domain. Like the premieres uh, we saw just now um, are public domain because of uh, the age. Do you know a bit about licensing? A bit, okay. The rules for Commons, because we did set rules like we, we do for uh, Wikipedia. It has to be educational but educational in the broadest sense of the word. So it can be, um, me from the Netherlands would say, well, windmills, water towers, blah, I know what they are. For somebody from China, it might be very interesting to see a picture of Ginder Dijk, the, the seven or eight windmills we have in the Netherlands. It's, it's, it's all about the bigger picture. Yeah. It's, it's what is, educational value for people in, in other countries and it's so um, it has to permit free reuse it has to allow uh, derivatives works and it has to be released by the copyright owner is it also uh, so that you have to have made the picture yourself or you just can take a picture from the internet that it, it has to be. That's, that's the, the. It has to be released by the copyright owner. Okay. So if it's on Flickr, and it's released onto Flickr under a free license, open for um, the the reuse and creation of directives and commercial use, you can transfer it to Commons. Okay. That's okay. So but it's it, we have to we. Uh, most images, about 95% of the images you'll find on the internet are not free. They're all copyrighted. There, there is an author somewhere, even if he doesn't directly, explicitly claim the copyrights, mm -hmm. he is the copyright owner. And we respect that. We try to respect that. We want to only um, have materials that are um, released by the copyright owner, consciously released yeah. for free like under a free license. The scope, scoop, scope, scoop. Scope. So there's a very extensive, very extensive article um, on, on comments about it. Um, uh, we want to make free license material accessible for all. And um, like I said, the one repository for all projects. Um, providing knowledge, instructional or informative. So uh, there's, uh, if you have pictures, you sometimes have a category of 10 pictures of the same bird. And you might be like, okay, do we need 10 pictures of the same bird? Well, we do, because one is in flying mode, and one is in um, uh, spring feathers, and one is in autumn feathers, and that's, that's all educational on that same bird, so we don't, we don't limit it. If, but if there is an educational value we, we see, we, we just keep it, and it, yeah, it's okay. So we don't delete articles because they, they, 
that quickly because they um, they're they're um, uh, uh, the same as a different uh, picture. Yeah, yeah. Is there a limit though? If you have hundreds of about the same object, all the five there is. Yeah. There is. The, at one point you're like, okay, we really have this already, thank you very much, but it doesn't add. But it's, it's not something we do quite quickly, because what is not um, informative to me can be informative to you. Mm. Yeah, it's my bias that has me made the decision. Yeah. I had a discussion. Uh, with a, with a community member um, about about the, the um, languages, um, I have the data set with sometimes with um, the pictures that are ugly in some perspectives, but uh, they are from a specially um, perspective and uh, from historical um, background and. Uh, Perhaps um, a colored dia from from seventies or so on for a place, and in my opinion, it should be in comments because it's a perspective from the here and, and so on. But uh, someone needs uh, it, it is too ugly for the comments. What what is the right the right perspective of the comments? Yes. Okay. Thank we you say, what's, what's the point in donating pictures and sharing them? It's to illustrate past life. Yeah. So, there might be people that think otherwise, but this is actually the point of comments. It's, yeah. um, uh, um, hmm, how do I say, just keeping track of life. Because we have, like for instance, we have Wiglos monuments originated in the Netherlands. And we got a big donation of the uh, uh, RCE that, that does that, that, that points uh, points the the the, the, the Rijks monument in the Netherlands, and they gave us pictures of the Rijks monument um, back in the 60s, and it's very interesting. It's very interesting to see how the the, the buildings look like now. It's 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 95 years later, and, and what what do they look like, and, and what has happened, and, and you know, so it's. There is educational value in history, absolutely. Yeah, and if you now see, like, uh, for instance, um, Syria. Yeah. Um, Syria took part in Wikilos monuments before 2015, so before the war started. So we have pictures of all of the destroyed monuments in Syria. That's mm -hmm. a, a point yeah. for, for Wikilos monuments, but also it's conserving that history. Um, it must be a media file, no plain text articles or computer programs, and it must be free file format. So that means it has to be, um, uh, it's, it's org for, for the sounds and it's WebM extension for the um, uh, movies and um, it has to be free file <coughs> format. You can Convert, you can find, find converter programs on the, on the internet everywhere. Um, so we only allow the free licenses. To go a bit quicker now. Um, you can see Creative Commons is actually uh, one of the newer licenses um, because they start with, hey, everything's open. It's, there's no copyright. PD and CC0 are just about the same. You can do everything with it. Here's my picture, feel free. There's another section that says, uh, okay, here's my picture, feel free, but do mention my name. Okay, do mention my name. And then there's CC by SA, which Wikipedia uses. Um, that says, here's my picture, um, mention my name, and if you make a copy or a derivative, please um, share it under the same license. So you cannot put any extra restraints on it. The other ones, we don't allow. 
That's, that's what the community decided on, and, and we say Wikipedia has to allow to share, adapt, and build upon, even commercially. Because there's one that says non-commercial, that's not good enough. We want people to be able to use it. Then the structured data on commons, there's an introduction about that uh, by Sandra Fougounier. She's one of the project leads. It's in commons, it's under the tab structure. And she's going to tell you all about that this afternoon. That was it. Are there any questions? Because we, we have to, have to watch. watch the time. That was a quick introduction on comments. That's on the point. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I tried um, to be. I, I 